You producers think you need an artist to make a successful song. Every producer video on YouTube right now is either working with this artist or working with that artist. But let's not forget, producers are artists too, and you can still make and release great music as a producer. Some of my most successful songs ever were made entirely by me as a producer. So for the next 48 hours, my goal is to make an epic, absolute masterpiece of a song, mix and master it, upload it on all stream platforms with only myself, a music producer. Things might look a little different. We got two cameras going on. Uh, my guy Matt is filming over here. My guy Shay is filming over here. We're not gonna focus on genre today, right? Don't want to. I wanna focus on just building a vibe, okay? We are making our music as a producer. We're not making music for an artist. So let's get right into it. I just want something that you could like repeat forever. I want a very repeatable chord progression. So let's go ahead and put that in. Okay, that's about as beautiful as it gets. So we'll take that. We like that a lot. I had a vocal sample that I found a little bit earlier that I really liked. Okay, there it is. That might be it right there. Listen, she says, something to work with there. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna take some time to chop this up. Perfect, so we are gonna build this entire track off that phrase, haunted by you. I also think this is a great place to bring in a bass, so let's go ahead and do that. A lot of low end, I like that, but it's actually going to pair nicely with our pulsing chords. My guy Shay dancing back there. <laughs> so to make a drop hit, we really want to like take everything out right before it. So this is what I have so far. Everything is going to cut out but this vocal. And then we're going to go right into it. You kind of got a sneak peek of it right there. So let's see what we got. Okay, so look at what I've done here. We have our vocal now, and it'll sound like this. So kind of like rough, but also kind of like in the background, and it's gonna help set off this drop. So now. I think we have done enough tonight. I'm not sure what else I would add right now. I'm gonna sleep on it. I told you I'd give myself 48 hours to make a full song. I'll see you guys tomorrow. good i got a good night's sleep everything's good very rarely do i wake up this excited to work on a song my head hit the pillow last night dude and i was like i should have added this i should have added that so many elements to the song i want to add i just got to get them out okay i think today's focus should really be a lot about structuring kind of like the arrangement of the whole thing and then adding little elements that people are really going to catch on to and enjoy we don't have an artist on this track right so we need to add little things that are going to keep the listener listening i'm just going to say screw the actual mic um so it'll say like, I'm haunted, I'm, I'm, you'll see. Um. I also added this little guy right here. It kind of goes nicely with these drums. All right, so if you kind of look at our structure here, we have like an intro and then our drop is really just like a kick, right? We don't really have much going on here. I mean, it's cool, but I want to add like some little vocal elements that kind of hint at our main vocal. So I want to have two sections to our drop. I want this half right here to be like a completely new vibe, something different. 
Okay, this percussion loop has a nice little groove. I think it'll sound well. I just want like a bunch of percussion, dude. I just want this thing to be filled up with percussion loops. Like that's what I want my rhythm to be like in this second verse part. So now our drums sound like this. If that makes sense, like this. Okay, that's kind of sick. Hold on, hold on. Fade it, see what fading it sounds like. Okay, and then that comes into another vocal. What am I making right now? Seriously, what I say, we're not focusing on genre. We are literally just making a vibe. That might have been the final touch we need, to be honest. That might have been the final touch. It's not even mixed and mastered yet. Dude, I could listen to that a million times. A million times. Now that I have all the elements that I wanted in this song, it's time to mix and master it. I personally just lay around, sit on the couch while I mix and master, throw on some headphones. This mix took me like an hour to two hours, but we finally got it done. The song is finally mixed. I'm having my cousin come over since he's in town to give it a listen. I just want to see what he thinks, get another set of ears on it. He's a pretty funny guy, so I think you guys will enjoy him. This is my cousin, Reno. Oh, what's going on? Reno is going to listen to this song. Hopefully he likes it. Do you listen to my music ever? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> like I said, my cousin Reno, he's basically like my little brother. The name of the song is Haunted. So let me know if it's a vibe. That's definitely a vibe. That was my goal. I just wanted to make a vibe. Maybe he'll listen to that in his spare time. Yeah. Damn, dude, what are these? Bro, you have like 800 pairs of headphones. <laughs> you can have them if you want them, to be completely honest. Are you actually gonna take those? Yeah, dude, if you don't need them. Okay, you can have them. <laughs>